Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and it's showtime, baby. Let's turn up the juice and see what shakes loose. We're about to embark on another vintage, another thrift store vintage toy hunt adventure. So if you like thrift stores and you like vintage toys, you'll probably like my channel, so hit the subscribe button. But man, I got a great episode for you guys today. We're gonna head out, we're gonna hit up a few thrift stores, hopefully find some vintage toys, but certainly have some fun along the way whether we find any toys or not, but we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Oh, what do we have here? Got some Harry Potter figures. Man, they want 17 bucks a figure for those. That's crazy. We got lots of Brett Favre on the shelf today. Got these baseball bobbleheads. These are kind of neat. Oh, these guys are cool. Hank Blaylock. And who's this guy? Texaria? Never heard of him. Look at this. That is a cool looking mask. Right, I might actually snag that. That's pretty neat. And then what do we got here? We got some Jurassic. What are they asking for these guys? Five bucks. That's not too bad. I've seen them as high as like eight, nine dollars. Got this little tank. Let's see, and what's this? Like some sort of Zord, I guess. Oh, here's a Captain America. Does he got paint wear on his nose? No, he doesn't. And this one actually talks. I should pick this up because it's so rare to see them without without paint on their nose. I'm Captain America. Oh, yeah. Captain America to all available Avengers. We need backup. Nice. And we've got our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Here's a Darth Vader mask. It's missing, missing the helmet, though. Actually has the voice box with it, too. If I remember, I think this thing made, yeah, makes Darth sounds. But the battery is not working. Oh, here's another Captain America, and this one's got the traditional paint wear. Oh, look at this Rescue Hero set. Does he actually go with that, huh? I didn't realize they had little play sets like this. Well, considering this, what do they want for this anyway? I don't even see a price tag on it. Oh, there's no price tag. Oh, there it is, $2.99. That's pretty neat. And then maybe these guys? I don't know, do I really need these? I mean, he does look kind of cool. This is like a, this is like a forest ranger, forest firefighter. And they got like the little tent or whatever this is and it's on fire. It's kind of neat. I like the uh, the fluorescent pink color, or orange, or whatever that is. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I get it? I like how it's all chromed out. Kind of looks like Skeletor, like a chromed out Skeletor. Oh, here's some shelving I could use. Seventeen bucks for the shelf. Dang. Another one down below here. More interested in this one though. Professional bull riders safe combination lock. Oh, look who we got back here. We got a Tweety Bird. It's actually a really nice one. It's very well made, very sturdy. I just checked out the year on him. He's from 1997, back when they made quality stuff. Oh, that's a fun mug. Expressions of Darth Vader. Angry, happy, sad, confused. Sleepy, cheerful, frustrated, and excited. Oh, wow, check out the shark. So let's imagine next. I hate, oh, look at that. 
That is cool. I wish it didn't have this big red button on it. I hate those things. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Check this out. OMG LL Surprise Jukebox BB. Oh, look at this thing she just brought out. This is cool. I've got one of these claw machines, but it's not it's not football themed. Part of me wants to get that. I don't really want to pay nine bucks for it though. We've got Mr. Wonderful. We've got some throw throw burrito. Well, I'm finding a few toys over here in home decor. I found this, but there's no price tag on him. And then we've got this elephant here. I want four for him. That would fit uh, three and three quarter inch Indiana Jones figures for sure. Oh, check out this Garfield shirt. I don't have a Garfield shirt. Well, I just tried it on and uh, I'm gonna have to lose about 10 or 15 more pounds. It's a large, but it uh, fits kind of tight around the waist, you know? But anyway, I'll leave it behind, but it's a cool shirt. Well, Thrift Giant, old thrifty pants, proved to be a bust, but there were definitely some fun things in there. Everything from rescue heroes to the Captain America that didn't have any paint wear on his nose. I, I, that's the second time I've come across one of those in the last few weeks and didn't buy it. And after re-watching the clips, I'm like, why didn't I pick it up? I mean, he, he talked even. He was kind of cool. So, but uh, lots of fun stuff in that store, even like the crane machine, but just wasn't feeling it. I think it's time to hit up the Goody Wheel. We're going to head that way, see what kind of goodies they got. And hopefully my Goody Wheel gang will rise up with me and join me in that anthem when I shout it out to the world. And make sure you hashtag Goody Wheel Gang Gang in the comments below. All right, my friends, we are here at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got something more than Thrift Giant. Let's check it out. All right, let's see. Any goodies, man, this guy's been here for a few days now. Looks like we got a little dino down here. And it looks like a whole lot of nothing else. Rush Zone Flick and Kick. And then what's this? Hero Realms. Oh, they look unopened. Oh, what's this? Oh, Pictionary. Oh, I like that R2-D2 pen. That's awesome. Oh, look at these glasses. Got some old Disney glasses here. Those are kind of cool. Oh, check out this marble wall hanger. Wow, that's got like everybody on it. What do you want for that? Uh, 10 bucks. It doesn't seem like too bad of a deal. What's this Garfield? Yeah, hey, look at him. Yeah, he's got a big old hole in his foot. Hmm. I ain't seeing nothing. All right, let's see if we can find anything on the shelves. Well, nothing at the Goody Wheel. Nothing, not a zilch, zippo, a big fat goose egg. But we've got Plaza Thrift, AKA Craptastic Sam's coming up next. Hmm. Seems like a lot of the same old junk. Well, let's check the bags. Maybe something new popped in here. Man, the bags are just completely wiped out. There's like nothing. What's this down here? Anything good? Nope. I think that's a creeper, right? That's probably the coolest thing in here today. Oh, look what we got here. Got a Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. I'm the ghost with the most, babe. Go ahead. Make my millennium. 
He went 10 bucks for him. Damn. What's this? It's like a shrunken head. That's kind of neat. All right, now we're talking, baby. A little Beetlejuice, the ghost with the most. <laughs> Let's do some epic show and tell. Beetlejuice! The story of Beetlejuice began in 1988 when director Tim Burton brought this quirky character to life on the big screen. Played by Michael Keaton, the character became an instant hit and the movie's success laid the foundation for an enduring franchise that would include an animated series and a popular toy line. The original Beetlejuice movie, released in 1988, introduced audiences to the bizarre afterlife antics of an eponymous ghost, Beetlejuice, and a young couple named Adam and Barbara Maitland, played by Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis. The film's dark humor and Burton's signature visual style made it an instant classic. Michael Keaton's unforgettable portrayal of the obnoxious yet endearing Beetlejuice solidified his place in cinema history. The movie's success inspired a cult following and set the stage for the expansion of the Beetlejuice universe. In 1989, just a year after the movie's release, Beetlejuice, the animated series, made its debut. The show followed the misadventures of Beetlejuice and his mortal friend, Lydia Dietz, as they navigated the netherworld and the world of the living. The animated series toned down the darker elements of the film while maintaining its quirky sense of humor. It introduced a new generation to the character and further fueled the Beetlejuice phenomenon. To capitalize on the popularity of the animated series and the enduring appeal of the character, toy manufacturer Kenner launched a line of Beetlejuice action figures and playsets in the early 1990s. These toys allowed fans to recreate their favorite scenes from the show and the movie, complete with miniature versions of Beetlejuice, Lydia, and other memorable characters. The Beetlejuice toy line became a collector's dream with its imaginative designs and attention to detail. In conclusion, Beetlejuice's journey from a hit movie to a beloved animated series and a successful toy line is a testament to the enduring appeal of this iconic character. Over the years, Beetlejuice has continued to captivate audiences of all ages with its blend of humor, horror, and eccentricity. Whether it's revisiting the original film, enjoying the animated series, or collecting Beetlejuice toys, fans, old and new, can continue to revel in the delightful weirdness of the netherworld's most famous bio-exorcist. Hey, before we go, I do want to give one special shout out to a subscriber, Mob49. He sent me this Beetlejuice VHS tape several months ago. I meant to do like a, an unboxing video with it, but I got so excited when it showed up, I opened it up and then forgot to do the unboxing video. So. I do apologize, Mob. This is like one of my favorite movies and it's so cool that I actually own the VHS now because of you. So thank you again, my friend, for sending this to me. And again, my apologies for not uh, giving you a shout out on this much, much sooner. But hey, if you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It does help my channel grow. Also check out this next video. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll find it interesting. <laughs> no, actually, I know you're gonna love it.